For what reason does <coughs> General Lady rise? Mr. Speaker, I move that the House suspend the rules and agree to the resolution H. Res. 768, honoring the life of Thomas Tommy Makem. The clerk will report the title of the resolution. House Resolution 768, resolution honoring the life of Tommy of Thomas Tommy Makem. Pursuant to the rule, the general lady from New Hampshire, Mrs. Shea Porter, and the gentleman from Louisiana, Mr. Osani, each will control 20 minutes. The chair will recognize the general lady from New Hampshire. Mr. Speaker, I ask unanimous consent that all members have five legislative days to revise and extend their remarks and include extraneous material on the resolution under consideration. Without objection. Mr. Speaker, I rise in strong support of this resolution and I yield myself such time as I may consume. General Lady is recognized. Mr. Speaker, Tommy Makem was one of the greatest Irish American performers to ever grace the stage. Not only have his works inspired generations of artists, but his determination and his success broke down barriers that had long been raised to Irish Americans. Tommy Makem and the Clancy brothers, with whom he played for I many years, were instrumental in breaking down these cultural divides. Tommy lived a truly remarkable life. He arrived in America in 1955 to pursue a career in acting, having just won the All-Ireland Championship in acting. Like so many immigrants before and after, Tommy arrived with very little, carrying with him only a makeshift suitcase, a pair of bagpipes, and proof of his health. However, it did not take Tommy long to find a life in America. In 1956, he joined with the Clancy brothers, Patrick, Tom, Bobby, and Liam, and they began performing together. In 1961, Tommy performed at the Newport Folk Festival, and along with Joan Baez, he was heralded as the most promising newcomer. And in 1963, Tommy and the Clancy brothers performed at the White House at the request of President Kennedy. They continued to perform together for years and played venues from Carnegie Hall to the Ed Sullivan Show until Tommy embarked on a solo career in 1969. For decades, he continued to compose and perform, and he would later reunite with the Clancy Brothers in 1988 for a reunion concert. In 1999, Tommy was awarded the World Folk Music Association's Lifetime Achievement Award. But Mr. Speaker, Tommy was not just a musician, he was so much more. Tommy was an author, a philanthropist, a businessman, an inspiration, and most importantly, he was a loving father, grandfather, and husband. Tommy passed away earlier this year, on August 1st, in Dover, New Hampshire, where he had lived for many years. He left behind a daughter, Katie Makem Voucher, two grandchildren, Molly Dickerman and Robert Voucher, and three sons, Shane, Connor, and Rory, whom with his nephew Tom Sweeney continue the family folk music tradition. They will remember Tommy for the loving man that he was and for the impact he had on their lives. Upon his passing, condolences streamed in from all over the country as well as the world. The Macon family has said that while many talked about his music, most noted what a generous and kind man he was. Mr. Speaker, I urge my colleagues to support this resolution and honor the life of a truly remarkable man, an immigrant who touched the lives of so many. I reserve the balance of my time. Joan, General Lady, we serve your time. Gentleman is recognized. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I yield such time as I might consume. Gentleman is recognized. Mr. Speaker, I rise today in support of House Resolution 768, honoring the life of Thomas Tommy Makem. Makem was an internationally celebrated Irish folk musician, artist, poet, and storyteller, best known as a member of the Clancy Brothers and Tommy Makem. He played the long neck five string banjo, guitar, tin whistle, border pipes, and sang in a very distinctive baritone. He was sometimes known as the godfather of Irish music. The son of successful Irish sing uh, folk singer Sarah Makem, Tommy Makem mesmerized audiences for more than four decades. He expanded and reshaped the boundaries of Irish culture and infused a pride and a quest for knowledge of Irish culture and countless others. In 1955, Makem's, uh, Makem's ambition to become an actor took him to New York, where after a brief but rewarding career in live television and off-Broadway plays, he teamed up with the Clancy Brothers. They appeared on The Ed Sullivan Show, The Tonight Show, and every major television network show in the United States. The Clancy Brothers and Tommy Makem played to audiences from New York's Car Carnegie Hall and London's Royal Albert Hall to every major concert venue in the English-speaking world. In 1969, 
Tommy left the Clancy Brothers to pursue a solo career and immediately sold out uh, Madison Square Garden in New York. His popularity soared, and he went on to three sold-out concert, concert tours in Australia, including Sydney's Opera House. By 1975, Makem had rejoined Liam, Liam Clancy of the Clancy Brothers. The duo worked together until 1988. Their collaboration garnered the, uh, the pair an Emmy nomination, as well as several platinum and gold records. Tommy Makem's music will live on forever. The Rambles of Spring, Farewell to Carlingford, uh, Gentle Annie, the Winds Are Singing Freedom, and of course, Four Greenfields are all standards in the repertoire of folk singers around the world in the late 20th and early 21st centuries. I am very happy to join my good friend and colleague, Representative Shea Porter, in honoring the life of Thomas Tommy Makem, and I ask my colleagues to support this resolution. I, I reserve the balance of my time. Gentleman reserves his time. Gentlelady from New Hampshire. Does the gentleman from Louisiana have any further speakers? I have no other members requesting time and I'll be happy to yield back the balance of my time. Gentleman yields back his time. Gentlelady from New Hampshire. Mr. Speaker, I have no further requests for time. I urge my colleagues to support this resolution, and I yield back the balance of my time. Gentlelady yields back her time. The question is, will the House suspend the rules and agree to House Resolution 768? Those in favor say aye. Those opposed say no. In the opinion of the Chair, two-thirds being in the affirmative, the rules are suspended. The resolution is agreed to, and without objection, the motion to reconsider is laid on the table. For what purpose is the General Lady from Hawaii rise? 